Hello everyone. This is a QGIS tutorial to show you how to save your uh, current map file as a QGIS file, which is, in other words is a project file. And I'll also show you how to open uh, them through either the icon or through Q QGIS itself. Now for this first uh, example, let's go ahead and open up uh, U.S. States layer as well as a U.S. Rivers layer. It looks like the rivers layer is a little too difficult to see. Let's go ahead and change the color to, how about stream? Okay, a little bit easier to see now. Now to save your map file, all you have to do is go to the project menu tab and scroll down until you choose either save or save as. Uh, typically, if you want to save the project as a brand new uh, QGIS file, simply choose save as. Otherwise, if your tile is already known, you can simply then just click the save icon in order to save your data. So for the time being, let me type in, how about just a basic map? Now something very, very, very important here. Make sure you know exactly where you're saving your QGIS file. Sometimes if you don't specify it, the file is actually saved within a main QGIS directory folder which can be typically uh, found through your uh, local disk hard drive. So make sure you specify where to save your folder for easy access. As you probably saw, I chose to save my data within my US data folder and it also appeared in its correct uh, location. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I close QGIS just so I can show you that you can actually open QGIS using a project file. All you have to do is double click on it and wait for the program to load. And what this should do is it should bring up QGIS with the project I was just working with. Alright, awesome. It looks like it loaded perfectly fine. Now let's go ahead to make this map a little more complex. I'm going to change the state's color scheme to a graduate color to reflect population per square mile. And what I'm also going to do is add in a couple more layers too, such as cities and lakes. Now, something very important to note, if you ever decide to send one of your friends your project file saying, hey man, come check this thing out, this looks so cool, uh, don't send them just the project file. If you do that, and they try to open it on their end, all it's going to appear on their end is just a blank screen. Since no data is actually attached to the project file, you'll need to zip up uh, the project file along with its respective data and share it with your friends so this way they can actually see what you're talking about. Alright, I think we'll go with, uh, let's see, let's, let's go with a nice uh, orange to red color scheme along with six classes and at natural breaks. Now, it's also very Im imperative that you actually check your data as soon as you save your file. Uh, sometimes with these GIS programs, if you tend to for say like save your pro like save your data and then close it and then a couple of days later when you come back to it the layer scheme may have changed on you or that may actually happen if you try to uh, post a brand new shape file to another uh, GIS program you definitely want to make sure that the color scheme is intact whenever you try to save one of these QGIS files all right with that let's go ahead and save our map as a complex uh, map name. And we're also making sure that we're saving in the same location as the previous map project. So let me go ahead and, and check. Wait a second here. It's not here. What? How can this be? I, I just click saved. Well, in, in reality, it actually is there, but we just can't see it yet. It's because this, this project in particular has so many layers and so much data associated with it, it does not actually appear right away. It takes a little bit of time. So once I go back here and double check it again, it's right here, right below my previous project. All right, with that, let's go ahead and close QGIS. And now let's manually open the program. Let's go to my start menu, QGIS desktop 2.8. Wait for it to load. And here's the main interface again. Now, now in order to open a project, we go to uh, project, then open or you can click the little open folder icon uh, right below the menu. And let's double click on our project map, or complex map, and it looks like it loaded successfully. This concludes this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.